Hey YouTube, Southwest252 here with another video, and this time I'll be reviewing the Gemini 200 Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Louisiana One livery. Before I get into that, I would just like to say I would really appreciate it if you would check out my Instagram, and the link is in the description. As always, I'll start off with the box. Got the Gemini 200 logo in the top left. Got the Southwest banner across the uh, top section of the box. Your computer-generated image right in the middle. On the bottom right, it does say Boeing 737-700, one two hundred CL diecast model aircraft, and then the item number, which of this aircraft is G2SWA926. Uh, it does have the button on the bottom. It does come with the replacement gears uh, for gear up mode and the stand. Got the computer generated image on the left side, 737-700, Gemini 200, one two hundred CL diecast model, and the item number again. On the top, it does say adult collectible model. Warning contains small parts, not suitable for children under 14 years of age. The right side is the same as the left side. And then on the box, it does say made in China. This is a 2021 Gemini Jets release. Uh, January 2021, I believe. Yeah, it's not December, so January 2021. Uh, officially licensed Boeing and Southwest products. And then you can pause and read the as real as it gets features. And also don't forget to check out the Gemini Jets social media. That's really it for the box. And now for the model. Uh, this model is uh, highly detailed, very amazing. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, I'll go over more of that at the end. But to start off here, we have the nose cone uh, painted on right at the front. Do you have the cockpit windows there uh, between the blue and then the white where the Pelican uh, wing is? It does say Louisiana 1 right there. You do have your nose gear and the gear doors do say 946, part of the registration. You've got your L1 door with the heart logo right next to it. And then you have uh, the Pelican uh, for the Louisiana state flag. You do have one antenna on the bottom there. Move towards the middle, you've got your overwing exits and routes. Uh, this does have the double arrowed escape route, just like on the 737 800 900. Southwest has been repainting their 700s with the double routes instead of the single routes. And then you do have your engines on the uh, with the Pelican chicks there. There's the outside view, and then here is the inside view. And you do have a landing light there at the base of the wing as well. And then you do have your just standard special livery gray winglets. And then it does say Union Justice Confidence uh, across the back, just like the Louisiana State Cloud. You've got the Wi Fi box on top. And then you have the registration, uh, which is November 946, Whiskey November. You do have the American flag right at the base of the tail, and then the special Southwest tail. And the other side is uh, identical just with the cargo luggage doors above that antenna and beneath the beak of the pelican. And then right at the tip of the wing of the pelican. So here is the front view of this aircraft. Here is the right side. There's the back view. There is the left side. Here's the top view. Got another look at that antenna there. And then the bottom, all the gears are rubber and do roll by the way, uh, these main gear do come out. Uh, but then you've got a bunch of details on the bottom. Uh, right by the nose cone, it does say 700. There's your detailed nose gear. And uh, the nose gear does spin as well. Got that antenna there, got some red marks. Move to the center in the gray and white section, you've got the stand hole. You've got the nest painted underneath the engines, underneath the wings. Uh, you do have another antenna there, uh, two antennas actually. Uh, right in the middle. You've got your Gemini Jets logo. 
Then you move to the back, you do have the doors for the APU and then the APU itself all the way in the back. So that is going to be it for the review. Uh, this model is fantastic. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So it's going to be get getting a score of 30 out of 30. But that's going to be it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing. And also, again, I would really appreciate it if you check out my Instagram and the link is in the description. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Just a few minutes. We'd like to point out the safety features of this going 737-800. To fasten your seatbelt, slide that flat metal end into the buckle. To release, lift up on the buckle. Position the belt low in the